All right, all right. What is going on, guys? What is going on? I figured I'd go ahead and do a live stream today while I just go through and do some general deck maintenance, you know. Make it fun, make it easy. Ask me questions. Watch me do maintenance on my deck. However, whatever whatever makes you feel. Oh, I, I noticed that with this camera, you see this hand I'm moving right now? This is actually my left hand. I'm actually surprised it's showing in reverse, but <laughs> very strange. That's uh, that's interesting. That is very interesting indeed. That's going to throw someone off. <laughs> oh, well, well. All right, all right. So let's just uh, jump into the whole point of why I felt like doing this. So the meta has been changing a lot lately, and there's always time to make changes. Get your little hot fix in, depending on if you're wanting to, um, I don't know, do a tournament or, uh, how do I want to say it, do your locals, anything along those lines, right? So figured, you know. Put together a floating side deck, decide what deck you want to use, put all your time and effort into that deck, right? Makes sense. So, why the fuck not? But, uh, I feel like for right now, I'll, uh, we're gonna do some maintenance on my twin deck, right? So I got my little field center. The camera's trying to do some zooming out shit. No idea why. No well. Just trying to focus. Guess I'm Go on too hard with this. Oh, it's so weird that it shows like my left hand over here and then my right hand right here. Strange. <laughs> but anyways, like the extra deck I'm using for this right now, right? And this isn't even a deck profile. This is just something I wanted to make some tweaks and changes on too. Change up my ratios. Because I'm I, I actually run like a uh, live twin on chain deck and a little scythe lock. And then with my uh, scythe lock, I um I don't have DP or I just you know use DP. That's the easiest way to do it. But instead, I uh I use escape or the unchain, and then like my most of the time my opponent usually hits the hits the card off the back row, especially when they know it's an unchain deck. They know there there's some back row, so they're gonna clear it. So nine times out of ten, the opponent's gonna clear it for you, anyways. But I wanted to make some tweaks and changes on this. Just a little bit of tweaks and changes. I have a skill drain in here, but I'm probably going to end up side decking that because uh, skill drain is useful. But the only thing I benefit out of it is the fact that the on-chain cards get all their effects. Like, they, they'll get their effects pretty much immediately, and they resolve in graveyard and get their effects. It's kind of weird, or at least that's how Master Duel shows it and whatnot. But Master Duel's, like most people have noticed, Master Duel's been wrong quite a bit. Like, for example, if you are on Master Duel and you use uh, Infinite Impermanence, right? And you use it on a, um, you use it on like a monster, right? And then your opponent, or you use it on like a monster in a different column, it would negate the effect of all monsters and back row in the same column that the infant permanence is in, which is clearly wrong. We got our latreats. I need another need another frost personally. Frost is okay, but um, I only run one of her anyways because I uh, I only have one. For some reason she shot up in price, she's like ten bucks now. For some damn reason. No idea why. I guess because the uh the uh, archetype or twins specifically are becoming irrelevant again. And you know how it is. When stuff get, becomes relevant, price shoots back up, even if it's something that's laid dormant for a long time. So we got our initial. We got our um, a three Lula or Leela. I call them Blue Ho and then Pink Ho. Blue Bitch, Pink Bitch, however you want to call it. It really just depends on how often I got to say their names and butcher it. And then um, I have my Frost and my two Latreats. Latreats useful. Frost is okay. Frost lets you give you draw power. Latreat kind of just extends out. Frost does the same thing. And then uh, 
we're gonna fix these ratios. I got one mansion, but uh, I only run I think two mansions with this deck because I don't got a whole lot of mansions. I need to need to invest in. I should be getting my mail in soon so I can get the rest of my uh, my uh, what is it? It is my prison. Get the rest of my prison. Because prison is like the ultimate on chain search card. So I realize it's actually just these sleeves that make this, that put that glare on the screen. These sleeves, which, as you can tell, I got Karumi sleeves because I am clearly a man of culture. If anyone knows where that's from, props to you. You know what anime it's from? Drop it down below. I don't care if you see this video a week from now. I don't care if you're watching it right now, a month from now. If you know the anime, drop it down. Because I'll be surprised if you do. Let's see. And then um, one live, twin homes. Even I should probably be running two. One snitch, which I know I should be running two. But I only have one, the password. And then the rest is... Uh, just my own chain package for the most part. But I need to balance out my ratios. And I got a couple of uh, older decks that I need to go ahead and gut out. Get ready to um, move the cores and get ready to sell them because I'm no longer using them. So it's um, gut them and put them away or just gut them, you know. And uh, I'll probably go through some block while I'm doing this live stream anyhow. I'll end up having to go get laundry here in a minute. But I mean, hey. Anyways, back to the meta. So the uh, aside from the meta conversation, uh, Team Extra, I was it was originally just me, Mr. Extra, but I am now getting a collective of people who are going to help join for the cause. Help blow the channel up, get big. We're going to be on all platforms. There's going to be merchandise here soon. There's already a new logo in the works because I know everyone's getting tired of my um, RL basic one because I'm pretty basic when it comes to that stuff. Or I just wanted to see how it would go. And I noticed the last couple of months or since I actually started doing YouTube stuff, it's, it's a very slow roll. All right? But um, you creep up to it. You creep up to it. What is it? Um, I used to run Kaiju support actually for this, but now it's just the uh, two sea turtles and then the slumber. I did have two of the moths, two of the sea turtles, and then the slumber as well. And then a unicorn. But hey, beggars can't be choosers, and... I took it out so I can run more twin extenders. Kaijus are nice, but if you don't have a purpose for it, so like a big boss monster it out, and then say if you open with a bunch of them, I mean, you kind of cock yourself a little bit. But hey. <laughs> Dagda and Scythe, though. Dagda and Scythe. Very annoying combo. I usually run access code with this too, but I only got one of him right now, so I've been floating it basically. All right, let's uh, let's actually go to the spell and trap book. I'm looking for some stuff that I need to add in and whatnot. Got some old cores I need to get rid of, which I should get rid of in this weekend. Which, by the way, I mean, if no one knows by now, I live in the states. I'm gonna be driving up to. Louisville to move some block, do some trades, meet up with people. Should be interesting. All right. And it's ridiculous. So we'll go through this tin real quick, see what I can find. I'm looking for like my mind drains and shit like that. What do we have here? Let's see. This is Mech Lord shit. Some Drytron shit. Small. A smiling universe. What the fuck is this? Pendulums. No, I'm good. Pass. I like pendulums. Don't get me wrong, but um, it is um, 
how do I want to say it? Um, you know, the last time I really liked pendulums is I like the sulfur chords, and I also I didn't have all the stuff with sulfur chords, but the metal foes, metal foes are real nice. Oh, interesting. I I have a message. Who's messaging me at this time of the day? Interesting. Interesting. All right, back to it. Speaking of a non-Yu-Gi-Oh topic, that what about that Will Smith stuff, eh? Hmm, someone slapping someone else. That was pretty funny. Let's stage, though. Uh, let's see. Metal Reflex Slime. Useless. Garbage. I need to turn that around. I know I just turned one around past a bunch of them that I should have turned it around, but um, it's just a lot of work, personally. I'll set this Red Eyes Fusion off to the side, just because I, I might have a use for that. Because I do run Dragoon and uh, the... What is it? The Prank Adventure Token deck. But that's only because I'm off DP, so it's like Dragoon or DP or Bust, you know? Might as well, right? It's that or... Uh, you could go old school and go to like Rainbow Neos, but um pretty sure I don't have Rainbow Neos. Alright, alright, let's see. Can I find something of use for the time being? Presence terrible, sacrifice, zing who let's see here. Now, anyways, back to the meta talk because I can I can do this. I'm looking for what I'm looking for. So yeah, hand trap format. They're slowly moving out, but I mean we're still in a format where hand traps are still pretty necessary to slow down your opponent. Ah, Travergade. But at the same time, you can brick yourself. Does that make any sense? I know it's happened to me, anyways. Where you um you run like 12 to 15 hand traps right and then you draw into them your whole hand of hand traps and then you're sitting here like oh what do you do right because i've had that happen and then you have to rely on top decking and then you top deck another hand trap and then guess what in this format you're dead so you can hand trap someone to death essentially but that's not going to win you the game or keep you alive in the long run. Hmm. Mainly looking for my mind drains just because mind drains are really good at stopping... Um, Actually, hand traps, ironically enough, because it just makes it to where you can't use effects from the hand, or so you can't like joy spring someone's shit, anything like that, because you got to use it from the hand and throw it to the grave. It's part of the effect. So basically, mind drain, for example, would totally stop that, depending if you're trying to. But I mean, let's face it, you're trying to. If anyone's been, what do I want to say? Betrayed by hand traps more than anything. It's definitely your boy. Where you draw all your good stuff, but you have no stuff to really go into it. So you just try to resort to a whole turn of keep this thing alive and hand trapping your opponent to death. Which you're not even going to kill him either. That's the worst part about it. Trying to see where I put this at. If only this wasn't banned. Ah, I got some monsters in here. How rude. Fusion Conscription, that might be useful. Uh, 
Eh, let's face it, not really. And we got a ring of destruction if you want to be oldie but a goodie. Anyone remember Union Monsters, right? Probably not. Especially if you're like newer to the game. You definitely don't remember Union Monsters. Union Monsters was like an attempt to... It's like Union Monsters and Gemini Monsters, right? Union Monsters was like an attempt to like change it up. Oh, oh let's bring back memories right here. I, um, back in the day, when, back in the early 2000s, I would run Insect Banish. It's a pretty strong deck. I remember making someone quit in the middle of a round six for a um, Columbus, Ohio regional, I think, like, 06, 07. They got so mad. Because I turned two and returned from a different dimension. Sat out an entire board of monsters, which back then, you didn't have to worry about negates. It was all overhead swings. Having big strong boys, just a basic ass effect. Oh, I have some random bullshit in here. What is this? This shouldn't even be in here. Snake deity, snake deity, abanities call. When am I gonna get that out? I don't see me getting that out anytime soon. Um, spellbook of knowledge. I could set all the spellbooks outside and potentially do something. Now, this right here, this card is hardcore slept on. Recycle. And for some reason, the camera makes it look a lot, looks like it's all busted, but it's just the, the camera's flip-flopping everything for some reason. But um, it says, during the stamina phase, pay 300 life points to like one non-monster in your graveyard and return it to the bottom of your deck. So you can, you can cycle spells and traps back into your deck and then just try to research them out. Because, I mean, this current format, life points don't matter. You can get yourself down to 100 and still fucking win, to be honest. And I'll be right back. I actually got to go um, flop a load of laundry into the dryer real quick. So, I will let my, my field zone keep you entertained for about three, four minutes.
All right, all right, I'm back. Adulting is that's that's how it is sometimes, you know. Now let's get back to it. So, anyways, what was I talking about? Um, I believe I'm looking for my um, I'm looking for I'm looking through some of my book for some specific stuff right now. Stuff to counteract the meta, actually. Currently, currently, to counter the meta, anything cheesy and old will work sometimes, too. It just depends on what it does. I'll actually be at my locals this Saturday, so be expecting that. Do want a locals tournament over at Plus One. Get some little recording filming action in. Meet some of the others from uh, Team Extra. No, some of my... Newer people who decided they wanted to be a part of the cause. Dark Dragon Ritual Fusion. Ah, I remember that. Let's see. I know I have a couple of these bad boys, too. I haven't seen any of them, though. Rather rough, rather rough. Here soon, I'll, I'll be starting to make videos where... Uh, I'll take an old meta deck and try to beat meta decks with it. Like, I have a Metal Foes deck that um, I want to tweak up and uh, make usable just so I could do a nice fat video on it and see if it, how it would stand in current meta. I mean, Metal Foes is a uh, heavy pendulum, and without the Electromite, they're going to be kind of crippled, but at the same time, Pendulum Summon, Link Monsters... There's a lot of stuff you can potentially do to stop it, you know? Well, make it pop. It all depends on what you do to make it pop, you know? Yoshin Whirlwind. Magical Labyrinth. Well, what I was looking for, sadly, was not in here, which means it's somewhere else. That is totally fine. Oh, no. This is all real old bulk anyways. That's why cards look old as hell. Come on. Need to... Need to organize this more. Because I have a couple tins that are, look something like this. And then I got a bunch of big white boxes too. Because you'd be surprised. I like keeping my bulk, and you'd be surprised how many people are just like, hey, let me get that bulk. I want that bulk. It's like, not everyone's going to come off it, though. If that makes any sense, right? If that makes any sense at all. Mm hmm. Real question is, does it make sense? Does it does it not make sense? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go through a couple of decks that I was getting ready to discontinue anyhow. Got it and bought it, you know? Bigger, better things in life. I have my uh, old reptile deck that still fun to play, but gonna end up sideboarding it. Look at that, we got some twin twisters here that I can uh, set off to the side that I'm gonna potentially use. Twin twisters is gonna be, is kind of huge in the meta right now. It's this and heavy storm duster. Twin twisters will make you discard for it, but I mean, hey, there's a lot of cards that can play off that. And then um. I need to set these aside, actually. I don't need them for anything specific, but uh, I'm planning on gutting this whole deck. I got a couple of solemn warnings that are uh, not great. 
uh, lightning vortex. We're just going to move all this over to the side because it's it's going to get pieced out. We got our uh, chaotic ruler dragon. That. This. We got the sky prison, which isn't bad, but it's not great. And then we got the uh, photon dragon little package right there. So at this point, I'm just going to take all the staples out of it and just set the core aside. So, uh, Crackdown, the Torrental, another Crackdown, Foolish can get out of there. Chaos Dragon Lavenier is a staple. I got a Book of Lunar Eclipse just hanging out in here, too. Reptilene. And I might as well binder tie some of the stuff while I'm at it for the time being. It's funny, when I say binder ties, it just means like I'm going to put it in my binder. I'm overdue to get a new one, personally, but hey. I also need to um, take apart the Utopia deck and piece that off. Let's slide all this down to the side. Get some binder action in here. Old Lavenier is going to go up in there. These black roses can go up in there, too. I know they're not sleeved, but, I mean, it is what it is. Plus, neither of these black roses are worth a lot anyways. They're very inexpensive. They're just nice to look at. They're very pretty. And we're going to put back the cards that are specifically tied to the deck. I'll take this Photon Dragon and slide him up in here. Cypher Dragon will go up in here for the time being. Our uh, Heretic can go. And I still have this. Uh, yeah, I know you guys see all those Fable Ventures on this right over here. Because I recently ended up pulling a, um, what is it, a bunch of... Um, What's the word? What's the word? I'm forgetting it. I pulled a bunch of water temples and right to the, the token package, and that's how I ended up deciding to use the token package, actually. So we're going to go ahead and slide these over here. Get that out of there. Just get these out the way real quick. I end up, I want to end up splitting this binder out and having a binder for spells and traps and the binders for monsters, you know. It'll happen one day because every time I fill this binder up, I um, I end up having to use some of the stuff out of it. You'd be surprised how often Nightmare Phoenix comes up and then I just don't have it because it's all sideboarded or I just forgot to do it. We got to look it up and look where it's at. Crackdowns and the Torrental. We'll just stick the trail in here just so we know where it's at. Everything else in here is kind of useless. The Foolish will sit over there. The Red Eyes Fusion. The Psalm Warnings. I'm, I'm going to put them in the binder, but chances are they're not going to get used anytime soon. Cell Warning is, like, in my opinion, kind of costly, but it does stop stuff. Like, it stop Red Eyes Fusion, but you could also just always spring it and stop it, too, and then not have to pay life points. So, you see where I'm going at with this. So, that has been gutted. Next, we're going to do the Utopias real quick. Pretty much going to leave Utopia how it is. Mine hacker. Am I able to pull this bad boy out? Seven's probably not, but I'll throw him in the binder. But I also have a Twin Twister in here. Mystic Mine. Eldritch. Eldritch. Heavy Storm Duster. Trennel. Mystic Mine. And then a fancy, a fancy boy, Twin Twisters. We could easily just take this Trennel and slide it underneath the other one. So we got another one. 
And then the uh, the fancier twin twisters, because if you look at this one and you look at this one, which one would you choose? And if you don't choose the gold one, what the fuck is wrong with you? The gold one just looks way more pleasing. And we got our two Mystic Minds and our two L Liches. And then the Twin Twisters, a Heavy Storm Duster, and then the Mind Hacker. And I'm just going to get up in the binder real quick. Gotta love these Dragon Shield sleeves, but gotta hate it when they don't have like the proper size for your Yu Gi Oh shit, you know? This cord's just dying to get in the way for some reason. All right, we'll stick the mine hacker right there. Stick the two L liches right here. And let's see if I can find two slots next to each other and put both mystic mines together. Um, the same page will do. One right there, and then I got a slot down here at the bottom, actually, for the other one. I really should rebindertize this whole thing. But we didn't have to gut much out of the Utopia deck. I'm going to end up trying to move this off, too, because uh, I had my fill with it, and it was just a little gimmicky deck and about a um, trick of future. It is not fantastic. But, I mean, hey, I'm starting to locate all my Twin Twisters and my back row clearing since back row is key this format, apparently. Put my Foolish Burial... Up in here. Stick those up in here for right now, too. Now let's go to the invoke deck. All right. And let's see what I have sideboarded for this. I've been slowly piecing it out because I'm not using it very much anymore. I don't want to exactly, like, just... Put it up all together because it'll be a pain in the ass to try to throw it back. But, um. A little extra girthy girth with this. Huh. It even says the connection is unstable. Interesting. Just now noticed that. Oh well. It'll um, work itself out later. Uh, let's see. Oh, I still got that uh, malicious bane I'm trying to get rid of. We get some random bullshit up in here. Soul of Chords would be pretty interesting. Well, guess I will uh, wrap it up for the time being, actually. Expect more videos. There's going to be a lot more content. Now I even do a video about the new members who are joining and the reason why. Well, I've already pretty much told you guys why I'm turning it into a team effort rather than a solo. Because the more the merrier more people about who know about Yu-Gi-Oh, the better. More content. More videos to please the uh, joyous fans of YouTube. Or how your man of culture probably says, the joyous feet pics. Whatever. But, you know, that's all I got for you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you have any takes on anything? Anything you want to say? Thing like that, or if you want to get into the Discord server, let me know. Or if you're trying to get into the Discord server to be more directly involved, or just get updates, go to the channel, go to the about, the about section for the channel for information, and then the uh, invitations right there.
But um, I'll see y'all until next time. So expect the next video like Friday. Friday, if not Saturday.